Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another most video. So in today's video, we're going to be doing is reviewing Shivere. So this is the free-to-play bounty hunt monster uh, for the current bounty hunt team event. So I'm going to go ahead and do a rank 3 review for you guys. So it's going to be a rank 3 level 130, actually a level 134 review for you guys. So I hope you guys are excited. If you are, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so as you can see, we have the monster here at level 130. I'm going to go ahead and actually feed it up to 134. There we go. So now we get better stats. Uh, 17,568 power. Power doesn't matter this, since this monster is not an attacker. Not that I've known. Uh, maybe maybe it is. I'm not sure. 259,334. That life is horrible. What the heck is that? 11,995 speed. What? That speed is actually really high. What the heck? Alright, so I do like the speed. I don't like the life on the other hand. So, Abomination. Mmm, starting off bad. This is good, but also bad, because you guys know the current meta, the current whole meta everywhere, right? It is Serpentix with his Abomination Hater. And besides that, we got the exclusive Bounty on Monster, which is also a huge threat against this monster, because apparently he has Abomination. So he's going to get demolished. Immune to Blind at rank 1, not the best thing to have. And then Area True Vision. I like the status guesser, but besides that, these two could have been better, especially with the current era. It is just not good. All right. Anyways, let's take a look at the skills. True sighting removes all negative side effects from all allies. Applies true vision to all allies. Ooh, we do have an NER skill. That's pretty sweet. PR skill that comes with low dark damage and nightmares to all enemies. Okay. All right. Moderate dark damage to one enemy applies nightmares to one enemy removes all negative side effects from itself. Okay. It's, you know, just a um, self support type of skill. You mean to control to all allies? This could actually come in handy as well. I was mentioning something like this today on my stream but i said imagine if there's a talent in the current era uh where it applies to me to control to everybody but this you have to apply to you know your team with a skill though so it's not going to be applied in the beginning of the battle but anyways so these other skills i'm not really a huge fan of honestly i feel like these are his four best skills um so he is okay i would say his skills are actually not that bad you can definitely make some nice plays with it but besides that traits are actually pretty bad in my opinion his life is pretty bad, but I do like the speed here. Um, but besides all of that, guys, this is a 134. Also, I forgot to mention, huge thanks to Bunky for letting me borrow her account to make this video possible for you guys. So in terms of traps, traps you can go with Slumster's Trap, Wormhole Trap, or even Fundies. Um, I'm going to go with the Slumster because I want to regenerate stamina. Although, actually, maybe we can do Fundies Trap since we have a banner on the side as well. Actually, with the banner, I might do Alarak's banner. <laughs> Flash Urian banner we got as well. But it's a... Wait. We have a... Oh. Ooh. Flash Urian banner. At, it's at level 29. Then in that case, give me this. All right. Cool. And we're going to go ahead and give it, give it a nice talent here. So Roost Taunt and Mega Taunt. When the turn starts, gives an armor with 50,000 points that are wear. We could do that since his life kind of sucks. You know what I mean? But anyways, guys, so yeah, we got the monster here ready to go in battle. So and before we do that, actually, let me go ahead and quickly give some runes. So here's what you want to do. In terms of runes, I recommend giving in... Uh, let me see. You have a bunch of level 8, so I'm going to go with level 8, honestly. So I would say do 2 speed and 1 team speed. That's probably like the most popular. Or you can do, for example, triple speed. This is also very popular. Um, so you could go with something like this or even two team speed one speed also works or even triple team speed if you want to use a supporter Although it's probably the best thing to do But here if you want to just use them, you know, just take in a first turn PER in case that there's a megaton Clearing the pathway for your other monsters or you can actually just use the monster to like apply true vision if you have it unranked um, And then also there comes NER for itself it means control that could come in handy. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it to PvP. So I know I mentioned PvP, but I can't really take it to PvP. I tried and it's just awful. You know what I mean? Like it's just way too difficult because she's in like a really high league. So with this monster, I'm going to get crushed. You know what I mean? So anyways, uh, I was like, you know what? Let's take it to adventure map. So here we go. We are on adventure map. I'm pairing it up with a Darkuma and the um, attacker there. Uh, so that could be any attacker, you know what I mean? So you can go ahead and first of all cleanse everything in case if you have any type of negative status effects. But sadly, this monster can't get, you know, controlled. Besides possession, he can't 
he can be frozen he can be stunned stuff like that so sadly if you get hit with something like that you can't really cleanse it from your other allies so anyways we don't really need that right now um we can do this other skill though oh we can do immune to control but i don't well the, only this monster will be able to control me i see um we could give that control immunity sure let's do it so we give that i just want to showcase that to you guys real quick I'm not going to kill them. I'm going to keep that other one alive though. Hopefully that monster actually survives. We'll charge up. I'm going to... Oops. Nah, that's not, there's no way you survive that, right? So we're going to go ahead and attack that one. Get rid of him. Please, Zyron. Please don't die from those two tortures. I'm pretty sure you're going to die, but please don't. Some type of relic kick in. Save you. 400 HP. Laying odds. Look at that. So baby reversion blocked, baby reversion blocked, and I'm sure, I'm not sure what the tank got, but um, all of them were blocked because of the immune to control um, status effect. Huge thanks to this mythic monster. So what we're gonna do is cleanse everything now since we had like you know that um, I think it was drowns or something. I'm not sure what it was, uh, but it was removing stamina. I think it was just stamina leak if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but look at that. You know what I mean? So this monster is actually not bad of a supporter. You can definitely make some plays with him. So he's not bad overall. You know what I mean? Can be pretty good against monsters that try to control you. Uh, but if they have PER, if they have access to that, then you're kind of screwed. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, we're going to go ahead and eliminate that. We're going to do this. And we're going to do another dad. Uh, another dad, I said. We're going to do um, that thing again where we do the immune to control. And let's see if... This monster is uh, if this monster actually ends up doing the control because again it won't really work laying odds look at that again time stop blocked i'm not sure what it was on the attacker because it was pretty fast but as you see none of that really um you know happened so we're just gonna go ahead and per if there is megatons you can take in the first turn and per with um that one skill that i just used the terror skill or you can go ahead and do this and if you have any negative status effects you can always just go ahead and get rid of it and it also comes with a torture which is nightmares so it's not like huge but you know something that you can use music control i don't think this monster control i uh, actually i think he stuns if i'm not mistaken we can save it for now let's charge up we can charge up again so here we do you need control let me see if he tries to control me is that, a, is that a control skill? I'm not sure if that is or not. Damage decrease, never mind. We have damage decrease. Guess what? I'm going to cleanse it and give myself true vision. Everybody true vision. So now I won't miss. It's funny because I have true vision as a trade. Oh no, that's means to uh, blind. Never mind. <laughs> Imagine you have true vision as a trade and also a status caster. You'd have like 200% accuracy or something. So there's no way you miss. You can land everything. But anyways guys, so I just wanted to showcase this monster for you guys um, in battle to see um, how good this monster is and what you guys think of him. So I personally think that he is not going to be in the meta. Maybe in some cases you can make some decent plays with him, but overall he's just too open if you think about it. Trait wise, not the best, you know, very open, there's no dodge area, nothing really protecting him. So that Abomination plus you guys know recently... Social Planet has been adding monsters that are really OP and they have Abomination Hater. So this monster is definitely going to get eliminated. Um, and there's no revival essence, so it can't come back. <laughs> but um, yeah, not really the best, honestly. Not the best monster. So, But he's okay. He's okay, okay? Uh, for those starter players watching this, you can go ahead and use him. He won't be very bad for you, but I'm talking about like in the competitive scene. I don't think he's going to be used too much. Um, but anyways, guys, let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this mythic monster. If you guys did enjoy today's monsters video, and you, I hope you also found it helpful. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.